I'd almost forgotten what Chef can do with a steak. Today I will rank the male main characters of Star Trek TOS, TNG, DS9, Voyager and Enterprise. I will rank them by physical attractiveness. I will do my best to ignore how nice they are and only judge their looks. I will only include main characters in this list. I will not include guest or recurring characters. If I would do that, then this list would look very different. In that case, uh, places 1 to 30 would be occupied by Makos, then there would be a little bit of a gap, and then there would be the rest. All right, let's start. Uh, place 29 is Neelix, and I don't uh, think this needs much of an explanation. I swear, this is not because Neelix is a massive pain in the ass. This is just not... Well, you all have eyes, so... Number 28, Flux. I was really struggling to decide which one to rank lower, Neelix or Flux. In the end, Neelix lost because his feet are slightly more disgusting. Only slightly so. Number 27 is Quark. Quark is definitely more attractive than both Neelix and Flux, but still the ears, the nose, the teeth. No, just no. Number 26 is Sulu. There is just nothing about this guy that speaks to me in any way. I mean, the character's boring as hell, and sadly that's also how he looks. Just completely boring. Number 25 is Chekhov and he can blame that mostly on his hairstylist. He looks slightly more interesting than Sulu but with that awful haircut there is just no saving him. Number 24 is Jake Sisko and with him it's not the hair. That is fine but there is nothing about him that catches my eye. Nothing interesting, nothing remarkable. Maybe get a few pointers from your dad, Jake? Then we can talk again. Number 23 is Odo. He is not really attractive in the classic sense, but he looks more interesting than Sulu, Chekhov or Jake. Sorry, Odo. You said it yourself that you are not good with human faces. Number 22 is Scotty, and this is another difficult one. He's a lot more interesting looking in the movies than in the original series. The moustache works for him, but because in TOS he's just kinda there, he only gets place 22. Number 21 is Geordi, that could be mostly because of the visor. It ruins his face, but even without the visor later, when he gets his implants, there is still nothing really remarkable about him. He's definitely a good-looking guy, but nothing about him makes me say, wow, look at that. I need to take a closer look. Number 20 is Miles O'Brien, and this one really hurts, because Miles is such an awesome guy. But this is about looks and not character, therefore he's so low on the list. The curly hair doesn't work for me at all. I am so sorry, Miles. Place 19 is Data, and he was also very hard to rank. He looks interesting, he's handsome in a weird way, but, well, that's all it is. You might think Data higher on the list than O'Brien? Yep, it's because of the hair. If Miles hadn't curls, he would have a higher rank. Number 18 is a doctor, and very similar to Data, he's interesting looking, he's handsome, and that's it. The reason he is one place higher on the list than Data is because he has normal skin and normal eyes. Number 17 is Wesley, and I really had to kick myself here. At first I had him much lower on the list, and then I remembered that this is not about how annoying he is. So if I completely ignore his character, then he's definitely handsome. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. I'm kind of glad I didn't have to put him higher on the list. Number 16 is Harry Kim, and he and Wesley, I was going back and forth which one I would rank higher. They are very similar to me. Harry Kim won. Not by much, 
but he won. In my opinion, he's slightly more attractive than Wesley. But everything else I said about Wesley applies equally to him. Number 15 is Chakotay. He's right in the middle of the list. Another case where I had to correct the position on the list because I remembered that I'm not ranking how boring he is. The tattoo gets him points. He's handsome, no doubt about it. Number 14 is Spock. And no, it's not just the ears. His face is fascinating, no pun intended. He's a man I can look at for a very long time without getting tired of it. Very attractive guy. Number 13 is Picard. I was struggling to decide between him and Spock which one I would rank higher. And Picard won because he's bold. Simple as. Number 12 is Worf and that has nothing to do with his face at all. He looks like such a badass. He's a beast. The broad chest gets him points. Lots of points. Number 11 is Tuvok and I freely admit that this is solely because of that one episode where he took his shirt off. Without that episode he would be much lower on the list. Number 10 is Mayweather. He might have the personality of a slice of toast, but his biceps gets him a place in the top 10. Look at that. Number 9 is Bones, and you might ask what? You were just drooling over Mayweather's massive muscles and now you're putting Bones one place higher? Yeah, Bones just has the face. He has an extremely interesting face. That's why. Number eight is Tom Paris. He knows everything, he can do everything, and he's very handsome. He's a complete package. Great man. Number seven is Bajir. And let me tell you, if this guy had more meat on his bones, he would be even higher on the list. If he was jacked, he might even win. So Julian, please hit the gym. Thank you. Number six is Trip Tucker. The Enterprise guys profit from the fact that I know how they look without their shirts on. He would be higher on the list if his hairstylist would do a better job. That face deserves a better haircut. Number five is James T. Kirk, the one and only. He's not only a hero, but also extremely handsome. But still, there are a couple of guys who are even more handsome. Sorry, Jim. Number four is Riker. It's a beard. Season 1 Riker would not be this high on the list. His face is very nice to look at, but it's nothing without the beard. The face plus the beard is a winning combination. Number 3 is Archer. And originally I had him lower on the list until I remembered that I am not supposed to give points for character. And then I had to grudgingly move him higher as most of the Enterprise guys he profits from me knowing how he looks without a shirt on. So here we are. Second place. Benjamin don't fuck with the Cisco. Shaved head. Check. Beard. Check. Massive chest. Check. Any questions? I didn't think so. Okay. Here you might have some questions. Rightfully so. I have weird tastes sometimes. And again, without the shirtless scenes, he would be lower on the list. He definitely owes his first place to his pecs. In combination with a very interesting face, he wins. And let's be real, this is the real winner of the hearts. The most adorable male of all the shows. Wow, this was hard. One thing I realized while making this list is how much the knowledge of character flaws influence my ability to subjectively judge the appearance. But anyway, thank you for listening to me objectifying men for nine minutes straight. I will rank the ladies next. That task will be even more difficult. See you then. Oh, Goodbye.